Hey guys, it's Sydney, and today I will be talking about Los Animales de Argentina, and I will be speaking in some Spanish, so if you don't understand some part of it, go ahead and click the subtitles below, and if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel if you feel like it, and let's get on with the video. Esquerar! Before I continue, I have linked all the sources down below in the comments, in case anyone quiere aprender más. 4K no empanzamos! Although you may currently be wondering, ¿Qué tiempo de animales viven de Argentina? I mean besides la persona de Argentina, there are many animales de Argentina. For example, está la capybara. You might know it as the conejo de Indias muy grande. Es el roder más grande del mundo. It can weigh up to 146 pounds. It also has webbed pies, ¿Por qué los animales quieren nadar? You can find this rodent in waterways, South America, in marshes, swamps, etc. A few predators include the puma, the anaconda, jaguar, and caiman. Los argentinos no come la capybara. The next animal is the burrowing parrot. O en espanol, es el loro de madiguera. No, not a parrot that lives in a burrow. Although they do burrow into soft sandstone or limestone to build their nests. Son la colonia más grande de todas las especies en la Patagonian coast, with not a hundred, but 180,000 loros. Ahora, this next one you may have seen at a petting zoo, the farm of a fair, or your local farmer's yard, known as the llama. The llama is a South American relative of del camello, aka the camel. Although the llama obviously does not have a hump, these creatures pueden vivir hasta 20 años de edad, weighs 290 pounds and is 5.6 feet to 5.9 feet. Fun fact, cuando están locos e o estados, they scream mwah! Por fin, there is the pink fairy armadillo, or pichiciego. El pichiciego vive in dry grassland, east sandy plains. They sort of look like moles, but they are not blind. La animale come ants, worms, y plants. They also pass on la mayor parte de su tiempo underground y sale a comer por la noche. It is one of the only species of armadillo with their shell almost completely separate from their body. So I guess it would be like a shell-less looking armadillo, but still with a shell. You get me? 